Hello, everybody. And this is Stacy from The Advisor. And I'm so excited today because we have Ron Beckenfeld. He is from he is the CEO of Superior Source Vitamins, and it was founded by him and his father. They had worked together and they created this amazing uh, vitamin supplement company. And Ron has spent his spent his whole life dedicated to health. And today he wants to talk about a couple of topics that he thinks have a significant meaning and impact in our society. And today he, you know, one of the things he wanted to talk about was immune health boosters and stress management and mental health and wellness, and then some nutritional tips on optimal health. So Ron, tell everybody a little about what you do and who you are and tell them a little about, you know, some of the topics that you were discussing just previously that you feel a lot of people need to understand in our society. Well, I want to start off saying, uh, I want to thank you for being on your show and uh, you're doing a great service. And what I want to do is educate people and motivate them to really do the best they can do for their health and their family and everything else with that. And it, and, and it doesn't take a lot of effort, just a little bit of a time. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, well, like, I don't know if you want to go over how I started. I start, my, my dad was in the liquor business. Mm-hmm. He, he wasn't in the vitamin company. Oh, okay. So it was you who started when I started the vitamin company on the trunk of my car. Okay. 1960s, mid 60s, somewhere in that area when nobody was taking supplements. And I, I put the, you know, I, I would go around to these health and there wasn't that many of them. And they were very like mama, what you call them, real mama papa. Yeah. That, you know, no sprouts or Whole Foods or any of that kind of thing. These places, some of these places were a thousand square feet, if that. And then the owner was there all the time. And I'd get in my car, and you know, a lot of me would be schmoozing this and that, and they'd buy the supplements. It just started like that from my. And then I went to my uh, closet in a small warehouse. I right. used to, uh, I used to go out and have somebody make what you'd call white label, and I would put my brand on it, and then uh, sell it. And it just constantly grew from there over, over the decades that's so amazing. Been over 50 years and i've learned a lot learned how to take care of myself but i think we want to touch on maybe some uh uh, 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 uh health products for immunity well you know what in since you know covid has struck you know a lot of people had noticed a decline in their immune system you know a lot of people had struggled with the virus. Um, a lot of people contracted the virus. Um, it did a lot of damage to people in different ways. Some people felt fogginess and clarity. Some people, um, their immune system went down and they noticed different types of um, you know, issues with their bodies after COVID. And, uh, you know, a lot of people were just very nervous about their immune system overall. If they didn't catch the virus, they didn't want to catch the virus. And so, you know, they were looking for ways to build their immune system up. So really, it applies to people with that had the the virus and people who, you know, want to protect themselves from the virus. And to this day, you know, it's been a very touchy subject. People want to you know, keep their immune system as strong as possible because now with what they see, you know, with the virus and they see all these different strands coming out and people are all different age groups and, you know, lots of people have different conditions. They want to protect themselves. And I know that you are a big um, advocate when it comes to building the immune system up and you've even created some um, supplements and, and vitamins to help with the immune system. So maybe you could touch base on, you know, your, your intake about the immune system and ways that you feel can help people actually improve their immune system. Well, first of all, I want to touch on if you're not getting enough rest or you're running around and you're not, you're, you're going to run your, your system down. So that makes you more susceptible to anything. Then we start talking, if you're not eating good food, now you're getting a double whammy. Yeah. So, you know, no matter COVID or no COVID, I mean, you don't want to get, I, I picked up the COVID, but I only had it for a few days. Right. No way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I, but I, I got plenty of rest, plenty of uh, water, to do the things to to protect yourself, right? Just those basic things, like I said, plenty of rest, eating a good food. The stress will, will drag your immune system right, or will kill you. Mm-hmm. Try to stay away from some, as much stress as possible. And there are some supplements that do help. We happen to manufacture 
a, a product called Advanced Zinc. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can see it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> that has zinc and vitamin D, which has been proven to, to help the immunity immune system. That is a very popular item. And uh, uh, even though the COVID's over, I will su still suggest to keep your D's up and your zinc's up, zinc levels up. Yes. And, and you're talking about and very, very important meditation along and keep the stress off away as much as possible. Like my dad said, give them the ulcers, don't get them. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people, you know, it's very, it's very, you know, having zinc in your, your daily uh, diet and having um, uh, vitamin D, you know, is, is very important. They say you, you should have zinc every day and you should have vitamin D also because most people are deficient in vitamin D. Correct. That product, our advanced zinc has uh, 5,000 D and I think 25 zinc, which is more than adequate. And even though you should have like, I, I look at it as an insurance policy, taking supplements, mm -hmm. nothing's than the real thing and, that, and i make my living selling supplements nothing's better than taking care of yourself proper exercise proper uh, uh nutrition and as, as far as exercise you got to be careful if you overtrain or do too much you will drag your immune system down right because i remember years ago i used to train so hard and i went why, why am i getting sick all the time i was getting just sick and i cut back and i got i, I stopped getting sick because you need to Everything is when you work out, you're on the teardown. The yeah. rest, you need the rest and you need the food for the feed to keep you balanced. And a lot of people, you know, you overtrain on too much cardio and you, you drag yourself down. You need a rest. Right. You're going the next day and you haven't really fully recuperated 100%. Yeah. Not, not good. And you, it, uh, working out can become very addictive and you mentally can mess you up. If you, you're going to mess a work, I miss a workout, it kind of, thinks you're you know you're out of step or something and it bothers you right it does me and many people i've talked to so overtraining and over exercising and, and not getting enough rest will drag your immune system down 100 percent. and what about incorporating vitamin c is vitamin c also a good combination to take with vitamin d and zinc i think so yes it, it, again i look at it as an insurance policy I don't think you get enough of even even if you're eating food. I mean, I don't believe in drinking fruit juice because it's too much sugar. I don't drink any fruit juice whatsoever. Yeah, it's all in a, 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 you get no fiber in the juice at all, basically. Right. And it's all I'm eat, eating the fresh fruit, and it gives you the fiber to see. But I don't. You got to eat enough of it. So that's where it's right. called food supplements. They they're really food supplements are wonderful. They have their purpose. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I think that's especially. Very true. Food you're getting now and we just touched on learning how to read labels i mean if you read the labels i mean a lot of stuff is even in the vi in the vi supplements you have more inactives than actives yeah unfortunately and you, you you look at other ingredients always look at that maybe you could touch base and explain to people because i don't think a lot of people actually understand inactive versus active the active is what you're is what you want to have inactives you need it to put the tablet together Mm -hmm. It's like building a house. You need the, you, gotcha. need, the, you need the bricks. You need the uh, 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 the mortar. You need all that. You need the drive. Then you end up with a finished product. That same thing, like in, a, in our superior source, most companies have more inactives than actives because especially in the tablets, you need the flowing agents and so on and so forth. And the vast majority of them are chemicals. Right. Our superior source, we have the active. The reason that the, the tablet's very small we do have full potency actives, but our inactives are are, are basically stevia, mm -hmm. uh, lactose, and that's it. And a very, very small amount of lactose just so the product can run. Right. But uh, the inactives, and you'll see that a lot on every other ingredients, on e every vitamin label. Yeah. A lot of times, yeah. No, no, I, I think it's, I think it's very important for people to understand that, you know, it, it's, you really have to read the lab labels, like you said, and look at what, what's active and what's not active and, and make sure, like you said, that things are also, 
you know, don't have a lot of fillers in them. Cause we've talked about that in a previous conversation too. You know, people buy vitamins and they buy supplements and they, you know, they don't really realize that a lot of these extra, um, you know, uh, things that are put in, you know, ingredients that are put into the vitamins and supplements are just fillers and they're not really doing much, you know, and it's it just, you know, for, for some vitamin companies, you know, thank God, not yours. Cause you're, you know, you, you take your vitamins and supplements very seriously, but there are a lot of people out there because it's a billion dollar business where they'll just try to put the least amount of supplement or vitamin into the product. And they put in all these fillers because it costs less money to produce. And then people are paying top dollar for these vitamins and supplements, thinking that they're getting a good product and they're actually getting gypped because they're not getting a lot of zinc or they're not getting a lot of vitamin D. And so well, you got not all of it right. There are putting the full potencies, but it's the other still other ingredients. I mean, it's kind of like a, a I call it an arms race where everybody's doing one up. You know, it used to be when I started a business, 100 IUE and 200 was the highest potency you could you'd get really. Mm -hmm. Then it went to 400, which really exploded the vitamin E business. Now, 1,000 I use the E. Okay. But you still have to have the inactives in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. To make the, make it work. Mm -hmm. You, you got to have, uh, uh, in the manufacturing process, you know, silica, and many other uh, uh, type of things, like mannitol, sorbitol, which are su somewhat sweeteners, uh, maltose dextrin, they use an, a lot, which is a, generally a derivative from corn or corn sugar. Uh, we, we kind of stay away from all of that. Right. Right. We, we, I, I don't know if we're the invention of it, but we're one of the first to, to come out with what's called the clean product. We've been touting this for at least 20 years. Yeah. No, you've been, you've been around for a while and I've been taking you know, practice be, for a while. <laughs> 80, 80 years old in August, you know, kicking around. Yeah, been taking supplements pretty much my whole life, uh, and they seem to work for me. And like I say, the eating and resting is the most important thing. Now, what about stress management and you know mental wellness? Because you know, in our society, we're in a go-go society. Things are constantly happening, and everybody's life, you know, has you know a lot of obstacles. You know, it's it's almost um, impossible not to be uh, you know encountered by obstacles almost on a daily basis. And right. you know, society is just you know constantly doing, 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 and you know, a lot of people suffer from stress and they suffer from mental health. And a lot of times, the the stress causes the mental health and you know there are ways and, and and natural ways to help that and what are some ways that you think are are good for mental health and first of all i, I want to touch on i think stress is probably least talked about i think the biggest killer of them all oh it is it is I mean, it's a real it, it, you know a lot of it if you know if you if you know it's coming you can deal with it. a lot of time it comes like a brick out of the night and hits you and you just get your flat off guard and that's those are the ones that get you and then they yeah. blink everybody takes stress a little differently right uh i find the best way to manage it is with some any any kind of exercise light exercise i don't care what you do that will take it, it works 100 percent yeah you know, less the stress because you don't think about it so much you get more focused somewhere else but staying away from that stress I and mean, especially uh in daily life there every you know it's not. It's nothing but bad news every time you turn on the TV. Uh, it's stressful. Yeah. Some people take it different than other, or you find out, hey, you go to the doctor and you got a problem. You know, maybe something real serious and that stress. Right. I think that's the real killer more than anything else. Oh yeah, I definitely. I think, it, I think it's even going along with that diet, eating bad, bad is pretty much right in there because well, it comes to blindside you. Oh time. yeah, definitely. And, and, you know, they say 70% of illnesses are caused by stress. Uh, oh, I believe that for sure. How can you manage it? The things we've been talking about is, is uh, buffers, but I think uh, a little, little uh, meditation, even if you do it in your bed, you just lay there and just breathe through your nose before you get up in the morning or at night and kind of relax and let your mind, you know, drift. Maybe mm -hmm. some uh, nice, easy music, nothing, uh, no uh, uh, heavy metal or anything like that. Yeah. Hard, hardcore music, just so we relax, actually put in the right frame of mind and surrounding your people, surrounded by as least negative in this as possible. Right. 
And and when it comes to like nutrition and optimal health, um, maybe you can share some of the things that you do that kept you healthy and, and kept you well and, and kept you looking this good all these years. Now, I know that you're a big protein uh, fan and you, you especially love the keto protein. Um, you know, what are some things that really you felt had a huge impact in your life when it came to uh, your, your health and nutrition? I think basically eating fresh food as much as possible. And one thing I know for sure is you get older, you just need more protein. It's as simple as that. As you get older, your activities go down, uh, your muscle mass goes away, mm -hmm. and you need to get that up. It used right. to be there was a half a gram per po protein per body with, uh, per pound. Now it's a, a gram. They're talking even more. Uh, my everything is based on a protein diet for me, and then I build on fresh food behind it. Mm -hmm. And I eat four to five times a day. It's usually one to two drinks and three solid meals. Mm -hmm. And I about three, two and a half to four hours apart. And I get very you know regular at that eating. I get hungry at the same time. I try to eat always at the same time. A lot of another myth is I don't I don't think you need to stop eating at five or six in the evening. If you're an active person, let's say you work and let's say you work out for four, four or five in the afternoon. Right. You can't wait to have dinner. I mean, it, 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 you need to eat. I eat even late at night though, because after I, I've worked out in a day, that's where all the all the, all the energy happens, the rebuild, the recoup, the re everything. Yeah. So if you eat at five in the afternoon, you uh, and you eat at six in the morning. You know you got a long time there. You know almost uh, twelve hours. But if you uh, eat, I eat a little later. I eat between seven and seven thirty every night. Mm -hmm. It seems to work for me. Right. And again, I get my protein about about close to two hundred grams a day with a lot of fresh food. Now, I when, times I eat when I'm just I'm just hungry, you know. Right. And that's protein actually when you're supposed to eat. Protein is extremely filling to me. Mm -hmm. And you only get about 150 calories to 200 calories. I mean, I consider it a meal. So you can, with three protein drinks and three meals, you can be under 2,000 calories very easily uh, every day, which is right. not bad. No, not at all. Now, you have, like, when we were talking about stress and we were talking about mental health management, don't you have a supplement that actually helps promote calmness? Yeah, we have a, actually, I don't have a bottle of it with me. I should have. A, it's called a calming formula. It has 5-HTP, uh, uh, L-thionine, and GABA. Those are all oh, known nice. laxants. It's, it's a real nice product. I developed it myself. I and think. It, it, yeah. No, I think it's very it's important. All, it's right under the tongue. It's a very small tablet. No water necessary. On all our products, there's no water necessary. That's no, great. No swallowing. You let it under your tongue or on your tongue and your mouth, and it'll just dissolve. I think that's so important because so many people do not like taking pills. That's why gummies became so popular because people do not like swallowing pills. So that's why your product is so great is because it just dissolves. You could put it underneath the tongue or on the tongue and it just dissolves and, 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 and it's, you don't have to swallow that pill. So many people are very uncomfortable with swallowing a pill. Right. And some of the pills are very large uh, capsules too. They're large and yeah. maybe a little easier, the soft gels to get down. But if you're going to get some potencies in there, you're going to have, you know, you have to have, you, you, you have to have the, the room to put them in a tablet. You can't, you know, to put two pounds of uh, material in a one pound bag. Right. Exactly. So we've, we've found a way of making tablets with our, uh, uh, the way we manufacture. You don't need the big tablets, big tablets, because we are eliminating all the excessive binders, fillers, and excipients. Mm -hmm. We actually have none. Right. I actually, I was, I was taking a supplement one time and it was a large pill and it got stuck in my throat because, you know, and, and it was terrifying, you know? Um, so it's, it's nice to be able to have a pill that's small, that dissolves, you know, right as, as you, it's going down and you don't have to worry about something like that. Right. And you actually avoid the digestion too. If it goes under your tongue, you're not digesting. Right. And in your, it's called buccal, that'll be in your cheeks, which is a, 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 a gland that will uh, absorb it. 
So does it go right, instead of digesting it, it goes right into the bloodstream? Is that how it works? I'm not allowed to say it because oh, okay. that's, called a, that's called a drug, but we our, our products are not drugs, but the way you take them with that under that tongue, if you do want to put it on your tongue or on your uh, over your tongue, uh, so in the system very process. effective. It's very effective. That's great. I like that. I like that idea. You know, I like it not having to go through the digestive system because sometimes I've taken supplements and it's gone through the digestive system. And it's actually irritated my stomach. So oh, yeah. that can happen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I also wanted to ask you about energy boosters. You know, so many people struggle with fatigue because like, as we were saying, people are always on the go. And sometimes it could be maybe not getting enough of sleep or just doing too much or just, you know, the, the food you're eating, but whatever the case may be, you know, what are some, um, you know, ideas that you have that, you know, in a fast paced world, you know, ways that you could boost your energy and, you know, fulfill, you know, have a, a, a life where you, you don't feel like you're dragging your feet. You feel like you can, you really. To be really honest with you, there's a lot of products on the market, but and all of them are jacked up with caffeine, basically. Yeah, it's not good for the heart uh, either. I, just a good cup of, like, I'm going to go to the gym when we're done. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of, you know, what does it cost to make 50 or 75 cents at home? And instead of getting these stu uh, these energy drinks that are loaded with sugar, sugar will give you the energy too. Yeah. Uh, not the way to go, but I mean, some of the beautiful herbal teas with the green tea, the maca, so on and so forth. There's, yeah, um, that's the way to go. And but if you get all what we've been talking about the above, take care of yourself. And, you, and I only drink coffee before I go to the gym, and I just it, it makes me a little stronger, it gives me a little bit more energy. But I mean, I don't take those uh energy drinks that have three, four, five hundred milligrams of caffeine, which a cup of coffee between 50 and 100 milligrams. Yeah. That's all you need if you really want to get a boost here and there. Uh, and, and, and you you build after a while, if you take too much of a coffee, so many uh, cups a day or whatever, or those energy, you become immune to that stuff. And it, it, uh, it, it you come chasing your tail, I call it. You just can't, you know, all of a sudden you're up and up and up and up and up and it's no good. Right, exactly. I think a cup of coffee or a great green tea or any of those are just just perfect. A little stimulants is actually good for you, I think. Oh, it definitely is. I I like actually. I like um, there's an organic uh, matcha powder I use, and then right. I mix it in with your beetroot powder, and I, and it it has like a nice. The beetroot gives the matcha tea a nice flavor, and both of them give me a lot of energy between the matcha tea and then it boosts my metabolism, and then the beetroot, which also helps you with your energy boost. The two of them combine. I actually I'll drink throughout the day. You know, and it and actually it takes away my urge for coffee. For some reason, I don't want to. I don't drink as much coffee. I don't have the urge for coffee as much anymore. I drink a half a cup, where I used to drink a lot of different cups of coffee throughout the day, and and I get this. I get the same amount of energy, and and I don't have the crash either. Have the what? I don't have that coffee crash. You know, like when you oh, get that, crash. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, another thing, really, if you get a real good night's sleep or even rest. Yeah. You Got your day, your table set for the day. It's right. Why you want all these stimulants? Because you you're only sleeping four or five hours a day. Mm -hmm. Six, you know, not quite enough. I don't think you need to go to sleep for eight hours. As long as you get the rest, you're in the bed for eight hours. You don't have to be out like a light. Your body's yeah. shut down. You're allowing your heads, and I call it the head spinning when you put it on the pillow. You're thinking about everything, you know. Yeah. That nonsense. Uh. The good rest, uh, good sleep in is uh, wondrous. It definitely is. Not talked about enough. Mm -hmm. And I, I, a lot of people don't eat breakfast. I never go without a breakfast. Right. Ever. What do you yeah. actually eat for breakfast? Usually it's egg whites and potato. I have a little potato and a little onion mix. I'll have about six to eight egg whites. I'll have a, some strawberries, whatever, season, whatever, the fruit's fresh. And I I have the green tea, and not only the green tea, I use the chamomile tea. I like that too. <laughs> I hit them both together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, it seems to work. I've been doing that for just ever. So I'll have an omelet with a uh, egg white omelet, and I'll have some toast. I don't eat too much bread. I'd rather eat the potatoes. I think it's a healthier form, right? For a carbohydrate, which you do absolutely need carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Any fuel. 
Otherwise, oh, you start burning your protein. You start burning your you burn your muscle off. You got to feed the body's got to have some energy coming from somewhere. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think that's one of the problems is that when people try to lose weight, they try to starve themselves and they try to eat less and less. And then they they have this crash where they just are so tired because their body is lacking the protein and the and the nutrients that they need. Well, again, as we talking, as you get back and you're older, you don't want to start eating up your lean muscle along with your bone mass. Right. Uh, you can look you can look at people when they're a little older, the shoulders a little drawn, and that's losing bone mass. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The protein's very, 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 very important with that. And you know, along with uh, 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 even a good uh, uh, calcium supplement. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. You, you, know, you, you know, when you get older, everybody, everything that it seems like you, you don't exercise as much, you, you don't lay around, you're drinking more. Yeah. All the things you shouldn't be doing, you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better off knocking. You better being. You better off being a little crazy when you're young and do all kinds of whatever. It's a little bit easier to uh, recuperate, and you have a lot uh, more miles ahead of you, where you've been, you know, bad all the time. Especially, yeah. I'd say after forty, you got to really kind of put your eye on the ball a little bit. I mean, you don't have to be quite like you and I, but mm -hmm. there's a happy medium there where you can. Uh, do better and everybody improves. You will improve and you'll feel good. And, 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 and if you're healthy, the stress won't affect you as much. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, you know, a lot of people say, you know, beauty comes from within, you know, and a lot of times, you know, if you really think about it, it really does. It's how we take care of us. Well, you know, we do have partially DNA. Okay. But if we do take care of ourselves, you know, we can actually, you know, by, if let's say if we're deficient in our family is deficient in something like, you know, let's say you see a lot of hair loss or people suffer from a certain thing in their family, you know, it shows that they have a deficiency in their family. But if you could take nutrients and supplements and you can kind of, you know, help your body kind of balance itself out, uh, you know, sometimes you can actually help yourself. Like if you take collagen or if you take certain types of vitamins and, and supplements to help with your skin, keep your skin moist, you know, maybe your family has a lot of wrinkles, you know, they wrinkle fast in their family. But then if you take care of yourself and you're taking the right supplements and vitamins and you're doing, you know, you're eating the right foods, you know, do you feel that you could actually help your body from within so you could compensate and not have well, to suffer from things? A uh, hundred percent, unless you really have a, a genetic problem or you've got a a disease that you you know i'm not against modern medicine in the slightest mm -hmm. I, I see more doctors and i know them. they're more becoming more integrated which is they really, are. really 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 nice yeah back to you saying i mean absolutely especially as you're older again collagen and we make a great collagen product it's called beauty collagen we put the hyaluronic acid 10 grams of collagen mm -hmm. i don't know if you can see it i could see it Women need the collagen, and it's it's not quite a complete protein. Unfortunately, the collagen is missing. Mm -hmm. uh, tryptophan to yeah. make it a complete protein, but for the women, the collagen to keep that bone mass going. Yeah. Is, without your bone mass and mu muscle, your figure is not going to be doing that great either. Yeah, very true. And it'll be heading south. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, yeah. I take collagen. I take it with my, my protein drink in the morning and you don't even taste it. And, and I, I just scoop it and I put it in and, you know, you do feel a difference, you know, and then even when I was taken, I had some joint pain. It was actually helping me with my joint pain, taking the collagen. Right. Right. You know, forget you're under stress all the time, moving, walking and your knees and everything. And the, the collagen is very important. For tendons and you didn't touch on any of that stuff. It's very good. And I know yeah. you take our, our keto uh, uh, collagen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do personally. I put it in my, my coffee mm -hmm. and it's very good. You know, life is what you put in is what you're going to get out of it. And I, I think uh, for a few bucks for, for insurance policy, for some supplements is not the end of the world. I mean, right. you could waste your money somewhere else, but I think this is pretty good. At least... You can't go wrong if you're putting energy into yourself. And it's very, very rewarding. Yes. You ever talk to somebody where, you know, you, you try to get your point across and they just don't listen or don't care? Yeah. Yeah. My father. <laughs> the, point of, the point I'm trying to make is, I remember I was in the gym with Arnold Schwarzenegger once. And he goes over and, and it's 
we had he had a uh, bar loaded with that. He starts tapping it on. I'm saying, what the heck are you doing, Arnold? He says, these are my friends. They never talk back or give me no problems. <laughs> so you're 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 uh, 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 you're putting all the energy in yourself. How in the hell do you go wrong? Right. And a lot of us experimenting. Every time you try a new supplement, you get excited. It's like going to buy a new dress, I think. Yeah, yeah. Or getting yeah. a new color on your nails. Right. You know, it's that investment where it's a 100% you. It might sound a little selfish, but it really is effective. Well, I kind of believe in self You waste your breath on people. You talk, my dad used to call it, talk your lungs out and you go nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a fish you pull in one way and they're pulling the other way. Yeah. You could be 100% right. Yeah. But I think when you put that energy in yourself, it's all positive and you and you start getting results and it really becomes a real excitement. Exactly. And I, I think when people see the changes in you, they're like, oh, you know, you know, how do you look so good? Or you look so young or this or that. But you know what it is, is that you and I believe in self-care and self-love in order to take care of others or in order to be a mentor. You have to put yourself first and take care of yourself because how Absolutely. are you going to help others if you can't help yourself? Well, you got to be an example, but, you know, you can't make. You can, like the old saying again, you can leave a horse to the water, you can't make them drink. Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of people just don't like to exercise for whatever reason. Right. And I don't know what to say about that. I think you need a little, I mean, like we've talked about before, you take your car and you get an oil change. I mean, you don't even put no trouble in, in any time in, into yourself. I mean, things are all right. It's fun to have nice things and this and that. But I don't, I don't, I get off on doing stuff for myself. Yeah, myself. It, it, it keeps me going. Oh, a hundred percent. Not everybody feels that way, but I, it's worked for me. And I, a lot of people I know, I think it's working for you. Mm -hmm. It's a great feeling. Yeah. No negativity. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody can find a, a rebuttal against you. Right. That. I mean, what the hell you're working on? What the hell you're taking vitamins? What the hell are you eating good food for? What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. You're not going to hear that stuff. Right. You're not going to get beat up over it. Yeah. Unless you may be excessive compulsive. I mean, you know, yeah, that is too much exercise, too much training is not good for you. No, it's not. It's not. You know, and it comes very addictive taking, taking care of yourself, especially the exercising can go very addictive. Yeah. I talk to a lot of guys and I look at them that even in the gym, the great genetics and they're in there every day. I says, you don't need to work out every day. Yeah. I says, what do you mean? I said, I'll give you a perfect example. If you got a headache, you take two aspirins. You don't need 20 to get rid of it. Two exactly. Mm -hmm. You got to find that. Happy medium. Happy medium. And you don't want to, you know, completely be hooked, hook, working out 24 seven or thinking about 24 seven. There, there's a happy medium. Yeah. Yeah. Especially now at home, you can do with the bands and this stuff. You don't have, even need a gym to go to a gym and you just got to be a little uh, disciplined. Exactly. Exactly. Put 20 minutes in yourself is no big deal. It'll make a world of difference. I was just going to say that, you know what, for people who might not be, you know, in, in, you know, tip top health and they might just be able to do, you know, the min bare minimum, just 20 minutes of exercise, even for someone that's healthy, just 20 minutes of moving your body, you know, and doing exercise, stretching, you know, it makes a difference. It, it makes a world of difference. And, you know, you do whatever you can do, but if you could put like a bare minimum of 20 minutes a day, it, it, it de definitely does make a difference in how you feel. A huge difference. Mm -hmm. And on top of it, if you start getting some results, you're really going to get excited. Yeah, definitely. You're really going to get excited mm -hmm. if you get a little results. With a little tweak here, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Like, you know, just one, you know, with the eating a little bit and then with a little bit of exercise, it's going to get tremendous results and you're going to feel very good about yourself. Right. Especially exactly. if you drop a dress size, man, you'll be jumping for joy. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I think that's every girl's dream. <laughs> yeah. And you, you got to get to have something to be passionate about. And this is a, a taking care of yourself is a no loser situation. A hundred percent. You're not talking your breath. You're not talking your lungs out to somebody who just, you know, you, you know, nod their head and go about whatever they're going to do. Right. Exactly. Now, if you had to take, take today's conversation and you wanted to emphasize on a couple important factors, what would you like to tell the listeners today? Listen to you. <laughs> You're one of the best there is in this business. Aww. I've taught, oh, yeah. You have the right slant on things. Your head's in the right place. Uh, you and I are in a line. 
Mm -hmm. I do a lot of podcast show. I won't do any things that are not health related or where I can get uh, my point across of, of helping people. That's very sweet. I think, I think, you know, too, I, I want people to know where they can find your vitamins and supplements because I've been taking them for like six, seven years, maybe longer. I don't know how long, but you know, it, it definitely does make a difference. I felt a difference in my health when I started taking your, your vitamins and supplements regularly. Now, where can people find your vitamins and supplements? Pretty much Amazon, Walmart, any online, almost any health food stores, vitamin shop, uh, 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 sprouts, vitamin vitamin, natural grocers, vitamin, and a lot of many, many, many independents. There's no trouble finding it. All you got to do is look a little bit. I mean, it's right there. Right. And what's your website address? Uh, we're at cvcforhealth.com. And then we have superiorsource.com, two of them. You know, I, I think it's, you know, you're an example yourself, because when you look at you, you could, you could see the difference, you know, you, you look at a lot of 80 year olds and you, you know, they don't have the the strength or the stamina, or they don't, you know, that, that positive bubbly attitude because they're, they're starting to slow down. They see the differences, you know, especially you get to 70, you start to slow down. You're noticing the changes you get to 80, you're starting to feel it. You know, a lot of people have a hard time rolling out of bed. They're feeling their joints, their back, this is that you know, and you're, you're, you, you keep going, you know, you're like the train that, that little train that, that who, that pulled all the other trains that, that wouldn't stop, you know, and you're a true example. Lana's there's no unforeseen things. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I, I tore my quadricep muscle about six, seven months ago, and it's been a quite a recovery and it's really taken some steam out of me. I was even in a wheelchair and my assistant was wheeling me down to the gym in my house here even in the yeah. wheelchair I was working out, I didn't want to lose that momentum and have to yeah. play, play catch up at 80 years old. Right. You know, I don't want to, I didn't want to take that backward step and I don't know if I could get it all the way back again. So it's really a dog it on. Yeah. But uh, bar any kind of like, you know, cancers or this thing, it's not, you can really stay vibrant. I'm not bragging. I'm still very sexually active at my age. Mm -hmm. I mean, almost every day. No, people don't believe me, but it's the God's truth. And it's just basically because I feel good about myself. I'm healthy. Yeah. I have a lot of energy. I work out twice a day and something, and we, me and my wife will have a date night. So that's three workouts a day. That's amazing. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'm not bragging just the way it is. No, that's very good. You know, most men in, in their, in their late forties uh, going into their fifties, you know, experience erectile dysfunction and no way, man, I, <laughs> instead of Viagra, I need some Diagra to calm me down. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, it's part of a part of the, the process of life, but if you take care of yourself, it's, it's like putting money in a bank. And if you need to take some money out, that means you might get sick. You still got some money left. Right. You don't want to be living on the on on, on uh, with an empty bank account, and then when emergency happens, God forbid, you have no money. Right. Exactly. So I look like you're building up the bank account by taking care of yourself. And some stuff's going to happen where you have to take a little out of the bank account. Right. But you still got money in the bank account. Exactly. That's kind of the way I look at it to to kind of build build up like that. So I have a little reserve, like I have a torn quad. It's taken a lot out of me, but I. I'm still moving forward. Yeah, it takes a while for to recuperate from a torn quad, but you eventually get there. You definitely eventually get there. Uh, I'm going on like say seven months right now, and it's been it hasn't been fun, but I'm still doing okay. I'm, I work still. I'm doing everything I'm doing. Right. I do my best. And and that's I got all you positive can do. attitude. I mean, what else, what else choice do I got? I'm not going to roll over and die. No. You have the perfect positive attitude and you have no choice as long as I'm not getting any, dis any diseases or anything. Uh, I think I got a lot of years that I can be active. Right. My strength is still really good. I mean, a lot, I mean, I'm not bragging, but I mean, on the leg press machine, I can use a five forty fives on each side still, even with this bad leg. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. And I'm still like, like, I'll go to the gym and I, you know, mix it with the young bloods down there, the young guys, and they get a real kick out of me. <laughs> 
I love it. Well, this has been amazing, Ron. I love having you on the show. And Ron has his own website and he, I mean, his, his own podcast and he's on our podcast community. He's always here to answer questions and he is, you know, he, he is really an, a health advocate and you can find him on the advisor. You can find him on his podcast and you can find him on the podcast community team with all his information. Ron, today has been amazing. Like always, I love fun. talking to you. Yes. Fun. Fun. A lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And you're so wonderful. Just putting this message out. This is what America needs. And you're a lifelonger, not some Johnny come lately. And all of a sudden they got this <laughs> hot little product and, you know, they're, they're all of a sudden, you know, they're, they're, they're the big deal. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, you know, you've been pushing and you're steady at it. That's what I like. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, Ron, thank you, thank you so much for being on the show. I love having you on the show and you know, you totally are a mentor to me. So Thank you. My pleasure. You have a great day. Okay. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.